Hello and welcome to this new Android development tutorial. This is part 6 of how to make a video player application for Android. In this video we will continue to work on video player, uh, fix bugs, improve features, clean up the code and so on. So if we run the app right now, as you saw in the previous tutorial, we were actually able to play a video. So again, make sure you have some videos downloaded in the downloads folder or the videos folder or even on the DC folder. Okay, right now I'm compiling the application and running on my emulator. And as you can see, I have two videos. So the app has found two videos. As you can see, the first video name is kind of long and in the second line of it, it's not being shown as we want. So we will increase a bit the height of the cells of our um, list view. For that, we will go under the app folder, rest folder, um, layout folder, and the item.xml file. We'll open it, and instead of hiding a 50 dp of height, we will increase maybe to 55. We will check if that will work. So now I'm running the app again, compiling it, and running again, and I will check if that changed makes it look better and yes as you can see now i can um the whole letter y as well as the whole letter um, p is shown so that was a quick fix we did just to make this look a little bit better and as you can see here i have two mp4 videos if you download videos so make sure they are mp4 and if we click on one of them it will show the activity of the video playing just right here. So it's chosen it on landscape mode. So let me um, switch the emulator orientation to landscape. As you can see, here is what we did. And if you click on the video, the controls we created appears. So here is the actual controls we created. And as you can see, here is the padding we used. But for in this emulator, as we have the buttons outside the screen, we don't need that, that padding right here. So depending on your device, you may want to have or not this padding. Okay, in this case, I will remove that padding because I don't want that to be shown. Okay, so I'll go to the Android Studio IDE. I go to video controller that Java file and right here the padding um, is kind of the right margin right here so if I comment this line with a double forward slash and I run the app again the pattern should be fixed now so I will switch to the emulator and wait for the app to be run again so to avoid um, switching orientations I will click on one of the videos and as you can see it now it, there's no pattern at the end and it showed the, uh, the whole width of the device which is great right now if you click on play um, you can stop and play again and it's working great as far as we know but remember, we also added the button right here to close the full screen mode. But the problem is that the button we added is in black, so that's why it's not being shown. So we will ch change that button to white. For that, we'll open our drawable. And this exit file is the drawable we created. So we will delete this file. Right click, delete. And we press OK and go on drawable, new vector asset. And as you can see, here is the, the previous um, icon we created. But this time we will change the color from black to a more clear uh, color, like white. Okay. So we want the white color. As you can see, if we choose this, we have it now in white. And click on, uh, I will change this to exit. Okay, we click on next and then on finish. And I will run the app again to check that that change took effect on the application. So I switch to the emulator, click on a video, 
and I will click on the screen. As you can see, I have here this button to exit from full screen, as you can see right here. And now if I click on that, then it goes back to the main activity, as you can see, which is great. Now, and we also have the option of pressing the back button. So let's check the, the back button functionality right now. Okay, if I open an app and if I show the button, so here you can see a more a larger view of the app. And if I click on the back button right here, here is the dialog to exit the app. So we can either close video or close app. If we click on close video, then nothing happens. So we found an error right here. But if we click on close app, then the app is successfully closed. Okay, so there is an error when we click the close video button. We will fix that error right now. To fix the error, we will um, go to video bit player Java, and inside here we will check for the for for the dialogue we create. So when we go on back press right here and we want to, we actually want to launch the main activity, but we want to send an intent to that activity. Okay. So to launch the main activity, we have to do this, but we are not starting the activity. So we have to say, um, start activity, start activity, and we will pass intent. So this was missing. Okay, so right now we'll run the app again and check if the back button works. Okay, so it's running. Let me see. And I click on, a, on one of these. And here we have the app, if I press on the back button, as you can see, and I click on close video, then the video is closed and I'm back on the app. But there's still something missing. I can't change the orientation now. So as you can see, there's still something missing here because when I go back to the app, what I want the app to show, the main activity to show, is a button that will say continue playing the previous video, you know? So we want that functionality to be implemented. So to implement that functionality, we will go to our main activity.java file and we will go to the onCreate method right here. I mean, after we set the content view and what we will do here is we will get the intent that is being sent by the other activity. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we will create a string that will tells us the state if there is one anyway. Okay, so we go ahead and type final string um, state or something or activity state. Okay, and we will set these to um, get intent that um, get string extra, oops, sorry, get intent, get string extra. So we are getting the intent we send from the previous, from the video app in the case we press the back button. Okay, so get string extra. And what we will pass here is the video um, activity intent to specify what kind of stuff we're expecting from this get intent um, method call. Okay, so we did this and now we will check if this is not null, first of all, because if on create is called but without the back button being pressed from the video player activity, then this will be null. So we have to check that it's not null. 
So you're going to say if activity state is different than null. So if activity state is different than null. And we have to also check something else. And um, um, we have to, to check if the activity is telling us to show the continue watching button. So for that, we will say if um, activity state equals um, continue watching, okay, and activity state that equals and continue watching. Oh, to better improve these, we later can create a global variable, but for now we're going to go to bit player to see if continue watching. No, we want, it's not continue watching, it's actually show continue watching, okay? So, is here show continue watching. So, if that's the message we're receiving right here, then we have to act accordingly. Okay. If that is the case, we will have to set the, we will have to get the current, um, we have to know if there was a path saved, okay? To do that, we're gonna go and initialize our shared preferences. For that, we're gonna type final sp, okay? Oh, actually, final shared preferences, we'll call this sp, and we'll assign this to preference manager that get, oops, it's not package manager, sorry, it's preference manager that get default shared preferences. So we go and call preference manager, get default shared preferences. And here we can say get application contacts. Okay, great. Now we're gonna get the string data of the video, okay? Video path, maybe. Final string video path, okay? And we will set these to, um, sp dot get a string. And here we have to pass the, the video path. We have to get what was the key we used to um, save the video path into shared preferences. So here in on pause, we're saving the position. Okay, and on on prepare, I think we save the video path. As you can see right here, we're saving the video path um, by doing saved video, okay? So save, save the video is the key that saves the video path, okay? Which is great for us. So here we have saved video and we're not actually saving this or are we? Okay, let me let me see if we search for saved video, we only have one match. But the thing here is that we have to to oh continue watching. Okay, so so we are saving the continue watching thing uh which is the same of the save video because it's intent info and here is also intent info. Okay, okay, okay. So we're saving this as continue watching. So we're saving this video path as continue watching. Okay, so what we will do here is we'll get the string 
and we'll get continue watching okay so we'll get the string instead of saved video we can we can use saved video but we're not saving it a saved video right we're we're saving it as continue watching right okay okay maybe it will throw an error later but for now we will check right here and here we're we're saving this as continue watching if i'm not wrong so continue watching okay mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna say get string continue watching okay and this will be set default to null and that's it so we have our new video path and when we get this what we will do is we have to show we'll have to show the continue watching button for that we have to create that button so for that we go to activity main.xml and before the list view we will open an element we will type button with much parent height uh, 50 dp for example okay and the ID of this button will be continue watching button and the text of this button will be continue watching okay so we can back can go back to our main activity.java file and right here we will de define that button and set up a onclick listener for it so we go and say so first of all we have to set the continue watching button to that won't be visible by default so we're going to say visibility gone so this is on the xml and we set the visibility gone okay when we've done that we can go back to our activity uh, to our main activity that java file and here we're going to say final button um you have to import the button and this is continue watching button and this will be set to find view by id r.id continue watching button and we'll course we'll show the button so continue watching button that set visibility to visible and we'll also uh, set a click listener so continue watching button that set on click listener new on click listener and what happens when the user clicks on this continue watching button so when the user clicks on this continue watching button we have to create a new intent so we're going to say final intent we'll set this uh, call intent we'll set this to new intent um main activity that this which is the context and we will open the beat player dot class so this is the intent we're gonna say intent oops intent that put extra and here we're gonna define we'll pass video activity intent and we'll have to pass the continue watching intent so when we go here it will say continue watching okay so we have to pass this continue watching right here so you're gonna say we're asking you to continue watching okay awesome right now we have passed that intent but we still have to start activity so we say start ac activity activity and we'll pass intent as you can see so this is what will happen when we click on this thing right now what happens again if we go okay let me see oh, 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 oh. okay let me see let's try to run to see if everything works fine so i'm running the app right now i'm compiling it and running so 
it running I will open a video as you can see okay let me show the buttons if I go back and I press and close video I go back here as you can see here we have our continue watching button if I press on that then it's not uh, sending it's not working the way we expect because we are not handling the keys correctly as I told you before so what we are passing here is that we want to show all of these buttons only when we have something to play so first of all we'll say okay we go to our main activity that java and here what we will do is we are getting the video path and if the video path is null we want to return because we can show something that's null so if video path equals null we will return okay okay that that's that's one thing but what we should also have to take in account is the flow of our application so the first time this video path will indeed be null so it will be null and will return okay so it will return and then when we pass when we when the user clicks on a on an um, item what we're doing here is the following we are passing the video activity intent and here so we go to video player to see what are we doing wrong so right now first we're checking if media controls wrong or is null if it is we initialize all of this okay but here we check if intent info that equals continue watching okay if it equals continue watching then we we get the string saved video but here we are not saving it at saved video we are saving it as continue watching so we have to change this from saved video to continue watching you know because here we are saving it as continue watching so we have to retrieve it as continue watching so now I will run the app to check if now it works or not so I'm compiling running I'll open the first video I will click on uh, I can really click on this new button right here to, to exit full screen too okay let me see and when I click on it then there's no showing of a base right here so if I go again and I go back with the back button and I press and close video then the continue watching is shown if I press and continue watching then the video is again shown and we have fixed this but as you saw when we click on this we we don't see the continue watching button why well because the continue watching button is working differently here so let's recap and get what happens when we press in here and we start the activity so we're pressing when we press back this is happening creating a new intent and saying show continue watching okay but when we press on the on that button we created which is not here actually but on video controller right here if we check what we do when we click on that button we should do the same so we are passing returned and we should not pass returned what we should pass is what the same thing we're passing down here which is show continue watching okay so we have to change that I will do that just now so we go right here to our video controller that Java 
and instead of passing the return value right here so by the way we don't need this string value off so we can delete this string value off you know we can delete this we don't need it and here what we have to pass I forgot was show continue watching okay so we have to delete this returned and pass show continue watching okay so if these three lines must look the same okay these three lines must look the same as these as these three lines you know okay so right now I will run the app again and check if that works as we want. So I'm compiling, I'm running the app, and as you can see, I will uh, click on one of these right here, and I will click on this exit full screen thing. And now, as you can see, here's the continue watching button. If I press, I'm back in. If I press here, I'm back again out. And as you can see, we have fixed the problems we had previously. This is for this video. I hope you enjoy it and I see you in the next one. Bye.